We recall tonight is the liberation of Warsaw. That was also 40 years ago. In Poland, ABC's David Ensor met a man. He was there when the German occupation began and when it finally ended. As the Germans bombed Warsaw in September 1939, the last Polish radio broadcast was a piano nocturne by Frédéric Chopin. It was played by this man, Władysław Spielmann, a Polish Jew who hid as the German troops took over the city. Alone, he escaped the tragic events of the Nazi occupation. My whole family was murdered, two sisters and brother and parents. Jews were rounded up after the Warsaw Ghetto uprising. Half a million went to death camps from the Polish capital alone. Then, in August 1944, a general uprising crushed. The population of Warsaw shipped to prison camps. The city destroyed on Hitler's orders. Poles had started the uprising believing Soviet troops camped across the river would soon join them. They were wrong. The Russians said they didn't yet have enough troops in the area. The attack by the Red Army and Polish partisans finally came on January 17, 1945. Some Poles charged the Soviets deliberately waited until Hitler's army had destroyed the city, and with it, the non-communist home army. Behind the retreating Germans, the liberators found a smoldering moonscape, a deserted wasteland. Among the few buildings left standing were those used by German troops. In this one, when the Red Army marched into Warsaw, was one man, virtually the only Pole who survived in this city throughout the war. He was the musician, Władysław Spielmann, who had kept one step ahead of the Gestapo with the help of countless Poles and one German officer. He remembers when a German captain found him, but promised to help him. You are a good man. You must be uh, from Austria. Yeah, Austria is so good. He told me, no, I'm a German, but it is for me uh, Terrible thing at the time, German. The German was Captain Willy Adelbert Hosenfeld, who brought him food and a coat against the cold and showed him where to hide safely. Spielmann played for him on a piano they found in the building. The German captain, who Spielmann later found out had saved several other Warsaw Jews, died in a prisoner of war camp in the Soviet Union in the early 50s. Pianist's efforts to have him freed were to no avail. When Polish radio went back on the air in 1945, its first broadcast to celebrate the liberation was the same piece by Chopin, played by the same man. But as Poland observes the anniversary, Soviet troops remain in the country. A new monument to the liberators needs a constant police guard. Today, there are still Poles who say the music that signified liberation 40 years ago won't sound right to them until the liberating army leaves. David Ensor, ABC News, Warsaw.